one other item that Jeff sent us is a circle cutter for the plasma torch. This is a guide that allows you to cut metal, cut circles of metal, and it guides your plasma torch to give you a very accurate circle cut. These parts just connect together, allowing you to set your torch in here and cut circles of various diameters, whatever you need. And it gets you really close to a finished part. In fact, for some work, you don't have to do any post finishing on the, on the part because you don't need a perfect edge on a lot of parts. Plasma cutting is so clean, you don't have to post finish a lot of things that you're doing, like maybe some of the pieces we're putting on, uh, putting on our wind generator that we're designing up right now. You need very minimal, uh, just edge grinding to finish up your part, but definitely you don't have to grind the outer edge at all, just chamfer on it. So to set up for plasma cutting, you have your ground clamp plugged into positive. You have your plasma cutter, which has the little air injector adapter here. That's plugged into negative. This is your plasma torch carries compressed air and amperage down the line. You have your compressed air plugging into the gas fitting. That's your gas fitting on the front for air or argon. You have your control, which comes from the plasma cutter. That controls your valve. And then you have what they call the plasma pilot arc that screws on to this terminal. So that's all your connection down here. Up on the panel, you want it set to AC on your, on your amperage. You really want AC, not DC. You want it in 2T, switch to 2T, and then your process button should be flipped to the center, which says cut, it's plasma cutter. When you set it up that way, the only control up here is your base amperage, the first control. This controls how much amperage you're sending to the plasma torch and you'll see that on here when we fire it up. You'll see the amperage readout here. It goes from about 20 amps on the low side up to 60 amps on the high side. Maybe I can show you that real quickly. 21 amps on the low side. When you turn the base amperage dial, you see your amperage going up over here. And it's going up to 58, which is close enough to 60. So we set it back down to 20. does exactly what it says, it cuts circles. So you have a very powerful magnet base that will magnetize onto your, your ferrous metals. You have this adjustable arm, it adjusts for different radiuses. And that rides right here in this magnetic center. 
That way you don't have to drill a hole or punch a, you know, punch a little dent in your metal to hold that point, although you could do that. But they send you that little magnetic center. Since we're, since we're cutting, we're going to show cutting just rounding the corners of our welding plate. I weld on this eighth inch steel all the time. And I just cut a little radius on the corners to soften the edge. So to cut these really tight corners, we don't use the wheels. Now these guide wheels normally attach on two sides of your circle cutter like so. Now these will help you, if you put them in this position, they help you to cut very straight lines. It's, it's a guide for cutting straight when you put the wheels on the sides. When you put your wheels on the front, Cutting big arcs, those wheels allow your torch to ride smoothly across your plate steel. What I like to do, even better than that, is I just leave the standoff spring that comes with the, tig tor or the plasma torch. This is your standoff spring, which keeps your tip from touching the metal. And that glides along just fine on small arcs. So I just leave the spring on and I leave the wheels off for these very sharp corners. So it's pretty easy to get this set up for cutting those corners. I'll send you a little marker pen. It's a paint pen. And I want a two inch radius. So I just mark off two inches. It's a yellow marker. Two inches. And that will give me the approximate center for the magnetic center, which is right there. This, this is a really powerful magnet. Don't get your finger under it. It will pinch your finger, so keep your fingers away from it. Now this will... ride like so, cutting the radius on that corner. So I'm get everything set up, I'll get my helmet, I'll get the machine ready to go, we'll put our helmets on and cut some metal. So we'll clamp, clamp the steel base, and it's good to set this up and just walk through the process to make sure your cables are not binding. That looks good right there. Make sure that you're going to get a good arc. That 
looks pretty good there. So we're about ready to go. And like I said earlier, once you turn the machine on, you simply push this button and hold it down to strike your arc and you hold it down until you're done cutting. And you let it up to stop cutting. Very simple. So we're about ready to go. Plug in our compressed air. Put our gas selector down to let the compressed air up here. And it looks like we're ready to go. tiny bit of post grinding to finish that edge off. You can see it's a nice, a really nice arc. It's a clean cut. It's not like acetylene oxy acetylene torches that leave a pretty ragged edge. This leaves a pretty clean edge. So we're going to use this plasma cutting torch to cut all of our steel materials for building our wind turbine hubs, which is a little industry we're going to start up here in Copperland. Copperland.org is our, it's our philanthropic regional economic building organization. We have a small company from up in Lorium up north that's going to build and sell these, these wind uh, turbine parts that we've designed up here. So we'll let you know how that goes.